<laughs> hey guys, what's up? Long time no see them. I gotta ask you a question, guys. The question is, what did the Mexican, the Mexican Trump supporter say to Nancy just before he threw her off the cliff? I want tequila. Yeah, I want tequila. Oh, well, I just thought I'd throw that one out there. Uh, oh, I found a cool, really cool girl on, uh, she's just like me. She's just like me. We're two peas in a pod, guys, two peas in a pod. Except she's a lot younger than me. I don't know how old she is, but her motto is, you, get it? you ready for this, guys? Her motto is, look good and live forever. How cool is that? How cool is that? What a great positive attitude. That's the that's the attitude I want you guys to have. All right. I don't want to scare you guys, but hey, check her out. She's on YouTube. Her name is Dr. Sarah Zalvedar. Dr. Sarah Zalvedar. Yeah, she's a she has a doctor's degree and she's in nutrition. So this is the kind of doctors we need. We don't need any of these other fake big pharma crazy out of control doctors okay steve has gotten he's getting a little triggered on them guys okay so what do we got to do today we got to get some get in some beehives let's see where the girls are at see where the girls stores are see how much they got see who's died out who's overrun with mites you know the basic stuff guys we do here it is what the heck day is this this is january 2022 of all things and it's the 21st it's friday the 21st yeah it is um so let's get into some beehives uh let's quit playing around with corny jokes and uh, and and goofball people we don't want to talk about these goof i'll tell you what guy i'm at the point right now every day i wake up and there's some more treasonous crazy off the wall stuff going on uh, I don't know. I'm about to. Poop. I don't know if you like you. Uh, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm about ready to poop my pants. I'm telling you. Every day I wake up, they're, they're doing something stupid, and, and I'm almost at the point of pooping my pants. You might. You guys might see me running around here in the next video with with tidy wipes and, uh, and 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 pamper diapers on. You know. All right. Let's let's get into the bees and knock this stuff off. All right. See you. Alrighty, guys. Bringing pollen in. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I don't know what we got here, guys. I've got a, uh, I got a, bu a bucket of beetle barns. I got an empty one, so we can take out the. I know these are plugged up. They're propolis up. That's a given. All right. So I got an empty one here, and a full one here. What's Steve got in his little arsenal here? He's got some combat max force ant ant killing gel. Well, this stuff will kill roaches too, and and high beetles. I mean, uh, yeah, high beetles. So we'll give them a heart attack. You know, a little respiratory problem, and uh, yeah, that's what we'll do for them. Just because I'm a nice guy. Uh, Let's see where our food stores are. I have no clue what they got. I know they packed away quite a bit of uh, pepper, Brazilian pepper. What have I got back here, guys? Let's take a little walk here through the forest. You know what this is, guys. This is Steve-O's experimental... Uh, yeah, antler harvesting device. Holy smokes! Wow, I filled this thing up not yesterday, but day before. Look how far they've ate it down. And I had a camera on it sitting on that arrow shaft right there, if you can see it. And that buck with a broken foot, he came in here. Boy, is he looking bad. I feel sorry for him, guys. Oh, man. But he's still eating. And it looks like above the wound, about that far above that busted looking foot, it, it, I see some bare spots like the skin is sloughing off. 
that poor guy has got to be hurting big time. Uh, if, if he was standing out here, whatever, uh, I, I would put him down, but I haven't seen him and I'm not sitting out here overnight trying to kill him. So, but anyway, um, I seen a spike come in and he had a, he had a spike horn about that long, about that long and one side was gone. So they're already starting to knock them off. So I was hoping to come out here and find a nice half of an eight point shed laying here or what would be really cool is find a pair of them you know because i've got some bucks running around here i've got some fork horns i've got some spike horns i've got a couple of eight points running around one's really a wall hanger and so but you know this is experimental so it'll be fun they're still working on my salt lick here that's a trophy rock they're doing good with that all right let's get out here and get into a beehive see what's up All right, we got a few bees, bees all the way to the top here. I want to show you something here. This is cool, guys. Check this thing out. Quantum. Quantum. It's a pin light. And then you pull this down, and you've got a uh, charging port in there. And you got a cord that came with it. Check how bright this thing is, guys. This is my egg. This is my egg looking deal here. Looking for egg. Martin gave me this Christmas gift. Yeah, it's one of my Christmas gifts. Uh, Martin's from Wolverine, Michigan. He's down. He'll be down here until uh, probably April. First of April yeah he doesn't live far from me so him and i communicate quite a bit and and, and you know we we com you know we compare beekeeping strategies i'm seeing some i'm seeing some honey in here guys kind of cool today it's only like i don't know I think we're gonna have a high of high of like 70 degrees here today. These bees seem pretty sluggish here. Oh yeah, look at that. They got honey stores here. I don't know where we're at with our mite situation. They're starting to they're starting to go through this these honey stores here. I've been open feeding a little bit. I don't know, it's January 21, guys. Can you guys in Canada do what steve is doing here today? Probably not. Probably not. There's a nice fat frame of, now that is pepper honey, guys. Look how, it's got a little green tint to it. The bees are not liking are not liking me today guys I don't know why you know they keep stinging me I shouldn't even be in these bees today it's overcast but I'm just curious you know we've got plenty of food stores here I think I'm not going to continue in these bees much further, guys. 
I was going to do an alcohol wash, but I don't think I'm going to today. They're bringing in pollen, and I don't see a I don't see a beetle barn up here. Let's just give them one of them. Well, that stuff's awful liquidy. Oh, this stuff don't look good at all, guys. No, I'm not using this. this. There's something wrong with this stuff here. This stuff is played out. So that's a failure. That's all right. We don't mind failures. We learn that way. That stuff's going in the garbage. I got to get a fresh batch. They make that stuff in a, uh, it's, a it's called Roach, Roach Gel, too. Same company, Combat and it's a bigger tube it's about that big this is a smaller tube that says ants on it too i'm gonna throw that away and go get the roach stuff but uh, man they're bringing in pollen nice different colors so you gotta love that yeah the bees are flying good today but it's not that it's only like 70 degrees here Six, 68 70 something like that Look at my katook, guys. This is in biochar dirt, by the way. Steve-O made a lot of... I made some changes here. I gave away all the concrete blocks, as you can see here. Remember, this was all rounded with concrete blocks. Down through there. Then I had a lane, I had a lane here. Right? And then I had concrete blocks here, here, there, and there. And the only row I kept was there. And I got a beekeeper friend that lives just to my east, southeast. And uh, I called him up and I said, you need any concrete block? He said, heck yeah. So he had a project and I said, well, come and get them. So see what I've done? I've gone to my... I've been going every day and getting a couple wheelbarrows. Look at this nice black stuff. These are wood chips from the county. And I go take my morning hike, two mile hike, and then they swing through the county yard. And I lay a tarp down the back of my truck. And I'll throw in, pitchfork in about a wheelbarrow full, and I come in. So this is about 40 loads you see here. And I got another four or five more loads to go. Yeah, it works slick. I back my truck in. I throw all my chips on a tarp, blue tarp, those cheap Harbor Freight tarps, and I pitchfork on what I figure is a couple wheelbarrows full, and then I drag my tarp, I shut my tailgate, I drag my tarp right up to the edge of the tailgate when I drop it, and then I slip my wheelbarrow under it, put the tarp over inside the wheelbarrow a little bit, and fork off uh, a wheelbarrow full. I dump it. Then I park my wheelbarrow, then I grab my tarp, yank it off the truck, drag it over here, pull it up on the pull it up on the uh, compost, and then I grab the other end and flip it over. Then I just knock it down with pitchfork. So simple. So simple. So I've left this, I've left this row in. And the, the reason for that is this land here slopes. I mean big time. Big time from the front the far end of my property to this swamp there's probably a three foot three and a half foot drop it doesn't look like it but it is you can see the pitch here this thing falling to the swamp and twice now twice without these blocks in here we get the heavy monsoon rains and it blew all i worked my butt off getting all this nice soil in here and cooking down wood pallets and making biochar yeah lots of biochar in here see the charcoal this dirt guys grows vegetables like you would not believe and just look at my katook so you can see what you can do with bio uh, biochar mixed in with wood chips and stuff this is rotted down wood chips it's not there yet totally matter of fact when you go there on a cold day and stick your pitchfork in this stuff it's just steam coming out so it's really working but what the county does they take raw wood chips and they grind them and then they got black dirt and they mix with the chips to get get them activated to start rotting down yeah 
Okay, guys, I thought I could show you a bunch of bee stuff today, but the girls are cranky, really cranky. Uh, there's no need going in them. It's cool. I don't need to chill any brood. Uh, let's get. We got warm days coming. It's going to be hot as Hades soon, and we'll get into these bees and see what I got because I got a. Uh, Martin's got some people lined out for me to buy bees, so I don't even think I'm going to need to advertise this year. I might later on, but pretty much what bees I have on in stock now are probably sold. Um, so I want to knock this, I don't know, 30 some colonies. I'll knock them down to probably five or six. And then I got all summer long to build back up. I got quite, I got quite a few boxes. I've got my, you know, as you know, our pallet assembly station in there. We can kick that in high gear and start making more boxes. But the bees that I'm selling are going to be the cheapest bees and the che and the best deal in the entire USA. Yeah, yeah, entire entire USA. And the price is going to be $100 for a five-frame nuke, wood frames on plastic cell. Now they'll be holdover queens, but they're going to be uh, 21 queens is what they're going to be. Two, 2021 queens. The majority of them. There may be a 2020 queen here and there, but the, the, the majority of these bees, because I sold out, I sold out my uh, 2020, I sold out my 2020 queens, but the 21 queens are going to be going, and it will be, it'll be $100. For five frames of bees, wood frames on plastic cell, a laying queen, five frames of bees, and brood, and a frame of food for $100 inside my homemade wood box. No, no plastic corrugated boxes, none of that shenanigans. It's going out of here in a wood box with, with a screen bottom board. Yes. I don't want to see any of my bees going out of this yard, throwing them on a truck and driving from here to Timbuktu. And then they call, I get a phone call, Steve, they're all dead. They suffocated. No, 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 we're not doing that. No, you'll have live bees when you get from here to there, unless you lock them up in a stupid truck somewhere and a U-Haul truck that's sealed up and it gets 900 degrees in there. Yeah, but uh, you put them on an open truck and uh, my suggestion is when you do it, i tell you what's a good deal. If you go to like Pinch a Penny when they're having sales, if you guys want a truck, get a bee net. I did this before and it works slick. You get those pool nets. They're tough as nails, guys. Tough as nails. You put on your pools to keep the leaves and stuff off, right? You get them on sale, those nets. Yeah, and who cares if it's a monster overkill net? doesn't matter you just tuck the netting in the side you throw it over your whole load tuck it in i'm telling you and rope that load down guys you have got one tough rig even though you've got you know you can plug your entrances on your hives the bottoms are open so they can breathe they're sitting on cleats you got eighth screen nailed to the bottom of them things and transport them like that you're not going to suffocate any bees just plug the entrances or either screen stable screen on the entrances or whatever throw it throw that pool netting over it rope her down and you're good to go okay guys that's a tidbit for today i will catch you soon and we'll have some fun we got to get down on we got to get down to the gulf of mexico i got to do some surf fishing guys i'm getting the bug i'm getting the bug we're done with pigs i'm done trapping pigs matter of fact i gotta go and pull my snares out Miss Daisy said, don't put any more wild meat in this freezer now. So I have to listen to Miss Daisy. I don't want to get, to, you know, reprimanded. And uh, so that's enough of that. So we'll catch, try to get some fish. I'm catching crayfish now. Mud bugs, freshwater mud bugs. I'm catching some of those. I got a couple traps out. Um, they tell me, I've never done this. They tell me that uh, the pompano and the whiting love crayfish tails. So I'm getting a nice little batch. Uh, I'm, I'm freezing them. I'm freezing them whole. I'm freezing them alive and whole. 
and uh, so the meat's fresh and then we'll pinch the tails off and and uh, we'll experiment i don't know if i need to take the shells off and just put the meat on there or what so we're gonna, we're gonna play with that and we'll be down on the water soon so i will see you soon be happy be strong and keep getting it on and check out dr sarah zalbadar see ya <laughs>